Good morning, lovely ladies. Today I am a different person. I woke up and I feel better, much better. If you have watched my video yesterday, I mean, let's just not even go there. This video is to talk about how I am preparing my body before a clomid cycle. And uh, I will show you everything I will be taking or I am taking right now, but we will not go into details about them because it's stuff you probably have heard here or you have heard, you know, other videos, you have done your research, you know about them all. But I'm just going to uh, let you know what I'm doing right now in order to have a better Clomid cycle. Last time I took Clomid, it dried up my cervical mucus. Like I, 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 I couldn't believe it. I studied it on cycle day three, and by cycle day five, six, I was bone dry. And I was in the Dominican Republic, and I did not have pre-seed, and I couldn't find pre-seed there, so it was a mess. So anyway, this time. I am ready to roll. So, this morning I started first time this cycle with my red raspberry leaf, the organic one. So, I am taking one tea bag twice a day. It is so relaxing, you know. It's just one tea bag, you boil your water, you uh, Pour it on top of your tea and you let it sit for about two to five minutes and then you drink up. So that's what I'm doing. It's nice and warm. It warms my heart. So I'm doing it twice a day all the way. It, it cannot harm you if you're pregnant so you can take it all the way. It depends on you. But for me, I, I probably will do this, I don't know until I don't want to. So, the second thing I will be taking is my vitamin E. I have a huge big uh, container of vitamin E, so I just put some in my little Ziploc bag I put beside my bed because vitamin E, you have to keep it in your fridge. If not, especially in summertime, they will all stick together. So I am taking about uh, 600 micrograms a day. And it is really, really, really good before ovulation. So I'm taking this today all the way. It's vitamin E. I mean, for God's sake, you can take this every day for the rest of your life. So I am doing my tea, my red raspberry leaf tea, and I'm doing my vitamin E. And I am also doing B50. It's a B complex. I am taking um, 100 milligram a day. So the plan is to space them out. You take, you cannot just stuff everything in your mouth and take everything at the same time. You have to, you know, space them out. You take the vitamin E in the morning, you take uh, your folic acid in the afternoon, you take your uh, prenatal at night, so you get the idea. So I am taking my B complex for um, taking my uterus lining. All this thing, it is in order to get my uterine lining nice and thick and my uterus healthier. So that's what I am going to do. And also, I've been doing this religiously since this summer. This is just an old bottle of my prenatal vitamins and I put some olive oil in this. Nothing fancy, but it's up to you if you want something fancy like tea tree oil or whatever oil you have, you can do your fertility massage. So I do this twice a day. And when I did my, my uh, clomid cycle last month, I was doing this two times a day and I did see a good improvement on my lining. So it is 
phenomenal the fertility massage if you have time you do it you don't have time you do it make priority for things that are important so that's what i'm doing twice a day i do my fertility massage and if you don't know what that is please google it and uh, you'll find videos on youtube showing you how to do it it is phenomenal so that's what i am doing and i am also taking about 600 micrograms of folic acid so I will do my folic acid in the morning and in the afternoon after my meal. So once I finish taking my clomid, and one more thing guys, water, 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 water. If you are taking clomid or you're not taking clomid, water guys, everywhere I go in my house, I have a water bottle in my washroom, in my kitchen, in the bed, everywhere I go, I make sure I have a cup, I have a bottle ready, filled with water. It is so important. Remember, your body is made, what did they say, 98% or 86% of water, so you have to keep hydrated it is good for your liver to keep on working and taking all the toxin out of your body so make sure you drink water i am not a big fan of water but once you start drinking it i mean you're just thirsty for more and more and more rather than go grab a coke grab uh, uh, something sweet juice grab some water it is phenomenal so once i finish taking my Clomid. I will start the baby dance this time very early. I will try to do the SMEP sperm meat egg plan. What it is is you start the baby dance since I could eight. If you want to start early, don't let me stop you. You start on cycle day eight whenever you've done your period and you do it um every other day and once you get a surge on your opk on your ovulation test you start doing the baby dance every day i mean god help me and uh you do it every day until you ovulate and uh, the day of your ovulation, you can go for it. You know, if you can do it twice a day, once a day, three times a day, it's up to you. And then you skip a day. You don't do it on uh, one DPU. You do it on two DPU. I don't know why, because I know once you ovulate, it's game over but since when you ovulate the egg can leave for 24 hours so that's maybe why they say just in case if the egg did not release at the time you think it did so if it's a little bit later so you can catch it so that's what i'm gonna try to do i know for a fact that i'm not gonna be able to do it once a day i mean we'll see so once i ovulate what i will do did okay let's go back, go back go back go back once my cycle is completely finished i finish spotting completely no spotting i will start with the castor oil pack what it is is just castor oil and then you have a fennel, just a piece of uh, tissue that, you know, absorb the oil. So you pour this castor oil all over this and then you put it in the microwave to heat it up a little bit. That's what I do. Everybody has their own way to do it. So go ahead, look for this. There's tons of people doing it on uh, YouTube so you can pick which one you want. So I uh, soak it with my uh, oil and then I put it in the microwave for about two minutes and then I put it on my lower belly. 
okay just like this except i put it on my lower body and then i put a plastic bag on top of this and then i have a hot water bottle or a heating pad i have them both so whichever works and i put it on top of it and then i put a towel on top of uh, my heater just to keep the heat and remember not too hot you don't want to cook your uterus you just want a little bit of heat and then i, I stay there for i don't know 20 minutes not, not more than half hour i usually stay 15 20 minutes and uh, sometimes what i do at the same time when i can i sit down i lie down at the end of my bed and my feet are hanging on the side soaking them in nice warm water i mean i freaked my kids i freaked them out the first time i did the became i had a pile of stuff on my stomach and i was lying down in a weird position in my feet so anyway whatever works so they say after you ovulate you should keep your feet warm your feet will keep your uterus warm i was having a hard time to do that in the dominican because it was so damn hot i couldn't put socks on but here it's almost fall now it's no problem i have socks on around the house so if you can do not walk around the house with bare feet always have a sock or slippers they say it will keep your uterus nice and warm. So that is what I will do once uh, I'm done all this, these things. So anyway, I am taking my, uh, recap guys, I am taking my red raspberry leaf. I am taking uh, my vitamin E, which is good for any time, any days. You take your vitamin E and I am doing my fertility massage. It doesn't matter when you do it. I start right away. So I am also taking mucinex. I don't think I did. I said that before. I am taking mucinex two tablespoons a day one in the morning one at night or it doesn't matter if you take two tablespoons a day and i am also doing my uh, folic acid i've been taking this for a long time i am taking my vitamin b complex all that this one and the vitamin e and the t and the massage it is to help your uterus good thicker especially when you're on clomid you need it because it will thin your lining so it is really good to start very very early on and i am also taking evening primrose i started very early this time even before i started my period i started with my evening primrose because i know once i start taking clomid my cervical mucus will be very very dry so that's what i'm doing so once i'm done uh my period i will start with the castor oil uh pack on my stomach heat 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 not too hot i will do that once every night until i ovulate once you ovulate quit you cannot use this after you ovulate just in case if you are pregnant you cannot cook the little bean inside and um on my baby dances days i will use pre-seed and soft cup god help me i will need the pre-seed uh, the soft cup, I have absolutely no problem with it. I made a video and I can link it down below to show you how you can put the soft cup and how I use my pre-seed. And I'm doing my tea, I'm drinking my tea, I'm trying to relax a little bit. And what I will do, I will do about three sessions of acupuncture this cycle. I am going to give it a hundred and fifty percent this time i have been giving it a hundred percent apparently a hundred percent is not good enough so this time i am going to go at it in a way that i have never done before so stay posted i'm gonna try to stay relaxed and um 
see what happens next so anyway thank you for my new subscribers thank you i have at least i don't know 10 subscribers just this week so guys i appreciate you watching my video i um